Hey, what's up? My name's Dustin, and I'm a developer here at Treehouse. Today, I want to take you through using the JavaScript array method known as includes. As the name suggests, this method checks if an array includes a specific value and returns true or false respectively. Let's hop into some code and see how this works. Make sure to check out the description or teacher's notes down below for related resources. If you're ready, let's get into it. First, let's check out the official MDN documentation for this method. It's pretty straightforward. According to MDN, the includes method determines whether an array includes a certain value among its entries, returning true or false as appropriate. Sounds pretty simple. Let's practice it a bit. I'll open up my text editor with an empty app.js file, and I'll run this file with Node. If you're unfamiliar with Node or don't have it installed, you can run this code in your browser's developer console. Let's set up a brand new array. I'll call this names, and we'll throw in some names. Let's write Jamie, Kendra, and Taylor. Underneath our array, let's write a console.log method, and inside of that, we can write our names array and chain on our includes method. Inside of our includes method, let's write the string Bob. If I hit save and open up our terminal and write node app.js, You'll see we get back false, and this is because Bob does not appear in our array. Let's change Bob with Kandra. I'll hit save and run node app.js in my terminal again, and this time we get back true. This is because Kandra appears in our array. This method is really straightforward, but can also do some complex things. I'll link below a video where I use the includes method to create a dynamic search feature for a web app. And that about covers it for the includes JavaScript array method. I hope this guide helped, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, have fun and happy coding.